What's up YouTube, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh here today. Um, another mail day video. So we'll start right off with a package I already opened off camera. and started off with a Red Eyes B-Dragon from Pyramid Collection Joey, I believe that's the PC Pyramid Collection. Um, got it for a really good price and I've been looking for one for a while, so looks pretty minty fresh so um, probably we'll send this in to get graded so very pleased with that purchase and then another item I got this week um, let's see where is it right here it came I got it like this it's like the car could have literally just fallen right out but um, luckily it didn't and got here perfectly and I've never seen this for Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but the guy had buy two, get one free. So I actually got three TP2 Skull Guardians. And the price was a steal. You guys can probably dig it on eBay enough and find what I paid for them. But they're, um, they're pretty minty too. So... Probably will be selling one of these and maybe sending this one off to PSA. But really pleased with that purchase. And the rest I haven't opened yet, so we'll get right into it. Kind of mad about this one. This is a troll and toad purchase. And I just bought from them and I wanted to get another card that I missed. And after they processed my order, they said, oh, so-and-so uh, was out of inventory, our bad, here's the refund, but then they charged me for the rest. So they sent me the rest of the order. So we have a core transplant unit from Absolute Power Force, an earthbound line walker from Absolute Power Force, and a shield wing from Absolute Power Force. Just picking up some um, of the last secrets that I, that I had not received from that set. This card is very not near mint too, but it's like a two dollar card. So then we have a blue eyes white dragon. Finally, finish off my um, uh, collector tin set. That was the last one I needed, and that one is surprisingly in pretty good condition for how old it is. Then we have a. Blast Sphere um, from Jump and pretty good corner ding down here. But for what it, I bought it for, not too bad. Then we have a few more Prismatic Secrets. Windstorm of Etiqua. Dark Magician Knight from ROD. Knight's Tail from ROD. And Kinetic Soldier from World Championships 2. So, pretty alright lot from Troll and Toad. Like I said, the card I really wanted, they were magically out of stock. So, they sent me the rest. So, let's see what we got here. Looks pretty good on the back. Oh, this is a um, Instagram giveaway from Yu-Gi-Oh! Sale. Commented on his picture. We have a misprint Insect Queen from Collector 10 Series 1. So that was pretty, pretty cool of him. He gave away a lot of stuff, so I will be keeping that in my collection for sure. And I picked up a OB Mystical Elf. Picked it up for pretty cheap, so thought it was worth the asking price. And a few light scratches. Um, corners are pretty good. Edges are pretty good. Light scratch on the on the foil, so 
Probably not grading condition, but still a nice near mint card for the ungraded collection. Okay. This should be two PSA cards from the big um, PWCC auction. So I picked up Gemini Elf in Gem Mint 10 condition and Lord of D in Gem Mint 10 condition. So don't have either of these, so they will be staying in the collection. Um, pretty stupid. Like I know a lot of people on Instagram have been complaining about dings and stuff. But it's what happens when you source the third party and not much you can really do about it. All right, let's open this one, maybe. If I can get it open. Oh, cool, totally forgot about this. So we have a booster box. I don't know why these are so expensive. But I picked this one up for a pretty good deal. So if I can get it out here, we'll show you. Pharaonic Guardian, first edition, booster box. Looks sealed properly around the three edges. Slight indent there, but overall, not too bad of condition. I think that was released in 2003. So, that will be staying sealed. I've opened a 36 um, pack booster box of Pharaonic Guardian before they just skyrocketed off the map. So, and the last mail day item. Hopefully, it's in good condition as I hope it is. Looks pretty decent on the back. And here we have it. Blue Eyes White Dragon DDS. So. I paid a pretty good amount for this, so. He said he couldn't see anything wrong with it, so. We will be the judge of that. Didn't even have it in a sleeve, so. have some indents in the middle so that probably knocks it down a, a grade right there so but overall the surface is really clean all right well that is the end of the mail day video few nice pickups capped off with this blue eyes white dragon from dark duel stories so subscribe i'm gonna be doing uh, some openings here on the channel here soon and thanks for watching